Hi everybody, welcome to the Todd and Aaron Daily Stream. I am crazed at this point. You really are. Cabin fever, thing? cabin fever. What is this thing with you and the classifieds that you're obsessed? I don't know the classifieds to me now. It's, it's like, I don't know what it is. I, I cannot not look at them. Um, we've saved a bunch of money. We'll talk about that in a bit. But there are some things that come up for sale that are amazing. I'm sure that's the word I'd use, but okay. Watch. All right, here's picture number one. Now, um, this, this couch has 82% uh, Naga free. It is. Hey, no Naga hide left. Just, no, there's no Nagas right. left on the hide. It's, but uh, it's only $10. And I they're, think wait, they're charging for it. With a slip cover, you know, you've, <laughs> you've got something that breathes. <laughs> and I, see, these are the deals. These are the I, deals. I, I see. I keep coming across. You're yeah. a saver, sweetheart. I am a saver. What else? Show me yeah, more. Okay, I'll show you another one. A lot of people, what? evidently, there is a need for leaves. Uh, they're selling the bagged leaves? Yeah. So there's oh. uh, one, two, three, four, uh -huh. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Lucky bag number. Uh -huh. Thirteen bags of, of leaves. leaves. Five dollars. You're lying to me. They want five dollars <laughs> for one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen bags of leaves. You know what would make this better is this is if they had charged you an additional ten for you to rake them up and put them oh, in the bags for them. That would have been perfect. Five dollars to clear clear away their leaves. This is one of my favorites. <laughs> what is because that? this is actually a, oh. a trailer. A camp trailer. I recognize that part of it, but what now, is all this stuff? If I'm this? gonna ask Nine hundred dollars for something. Yeah. You think I might move some of the crap that's in the way of the thing I'm selling for nine hundred dollars? So you could actually see the interior maybe, of I, maybe you know yeah. just a little bit of effort <laughs> would really really help it out. But this I like the person you... the person clean. That one part of the car oh, see. to get your mileage. See, there you go. It's that note of authenticity that makes you it feel better really about what is. you're doing here with all your thousands of dollars. Yeah. This is the kind of vehicle they say <laughs> needs a little TLC. <laughs> That's always the death word, isn't it? Because they've already applied a little TLC uh -huh. right around the odometer number. Yeah. The rest of it. That's highlighting the... Looks like hell. Right. Yeah, so, I think that's a given. A little TLC. <laughs> and once again, someone is selling this for a couple thousand dollars. That looks like a butt. <laughs> You're so immature. What did you think it was right off the bat? Butt. A butt. Yeah. Right. They're boxing gloves. Uh -huh. So these are the kind of surprises you come mm. along. Uh, you had to put that at the end just so that you could say the word butt, didn't you? No, actually it's not the end because oh, the last one is one that I came across and I thought to myself, these people are looking for an opportunity. These people are go-getters. These people are artists and they want to share themselves with the world. And that's why they're offering their moder modeling skills Ooh. What are they? Oh, well, obviously, Aaron. One what is they... the angel, and, and one is the devil. devil. And he's wearing a medieval tunic. Now this is he's free. like a medieval devil. There, this is free in jeans. Uh -huh. This is free yeah. because they want to build their um, their book of pictures. I see their repertoire. No, what do you call it? Their their, their portfolio. Portfolio. So, oh, they're offering their modeling skills. Is yes, what you're telling yes, me? yes. Oh, so they will come and they will model for you. Yes, yes. And to build their portfolio of m modeling. And that is the kind of thing I see in the classifieds. <laughs> now, along with those. There are some good things. I mean, I, we have saved money. This is true. We Between classifieds and YouTube, uh -huh. learning how to fix things. You are invincible. That I don't know. Um, a great example. Um, for camping stuff, why, why would I buy it new? Why would I buy a new trailer hitch for $350 when I can get it for $95? You are so proud of yourself I right am now. I'm so proud of myself. And I'm Scottish. This is true. Our ancestors are smiling down upon you as we speak. I want to talk about Tooele County. Okay, why are we Tooele County? Do that you know how big Tooele County is? Think of Tooele. Big-ish. Think of Wendover. Think of all the space in between. Think about 750,000 square miles. And nobody on it, so there's no real tax revenue. There's no there. money. 
All yeah, right, so yeah. so the schools in uh, Wendover, the dull one. East Wendover, that would be us. Not the gambling one. No gambling or medical marijuana or any of that stuff. Okay, so that part. uh, They have decided to go to a four-day school week. No, wait, is this for like high schools too? High school and the elementary. So 7 through 12 and then the the kids. That doesn't seem... No, no, no. The reason is is their their teacher retention is as high as, as low as... Uh, 30%, sometimes 50%, they lose 50%, 50% of turnover? their teachers annually oh, because, wow. number one, they are competing with Nevada, which is tax rich and can afford to pay more. The, just across, no, yeah, no, they have a four day week. Nevada does? Yes. But they don't have to. They have it's tons of revenue. It's right next door. It's step over the line. Suddenly you have Fridays off. And so the teachers... That they, doesn't make any sense, though. You have tax revenue in, in West Wendover. No, this is what they're doing. And they're using this. And they, they, they feel that the grades have gone up. Uh, their teacher retention is great. Uh, the days are not longer. Then how are they fitting in all the extra academics? I don't know. Is there more like online stuff or... The, the f- cool thing is, is that the high school has 172 kids. Wow. And the elementary school has 223. So it's a small group. And, and then if the, it doesn't make sense. They have money. They have tons of tax revenue. They can afford it. And if for some reason, for some reason, um, they have enough people to make a basketball team, they miss 35% of classes because they have to travel so far to play another team of humans. Kid, you're going to do chess. You're, you're not you're, going anywhere. Sorry. Oboe. You're playing the oboe and you're in the basement of the trailer. Get in there. Start playing. So, uh, four day work. I, don't I think know. that would be hard as a parent, though, because then you're like, well, what yeah, am I going to do with my child while I'm trying to work? That's true. I mean, that's more child care. There's anything. always child labor, though. Let's move on. This is true. I don't know what I was thinking. Tell me something good. <gasps> this one is so good. I am dying from cuteness overload. Does this start with so a sweet. horrible situation like most? No, it's wonderful. Well, Ahueo Perea, he um, is a fisherman. He's 71 years old now. He's retired. And 71. he lives okay. in a little island village um, outside of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Now there is a big population Sounds wonderful. of sea creatures that go along the, the slipstream there because of some of the climate changes. And so a lot of them... Hence the fishing? Yeah, and a lot of them have, have kind of drifted off base a little bit and they've kind of gotten lost and they're seeing more of these animals wash up. Well, five years ago he found a little penguin who was washed up on the on the rocks. I have seen this story. Covered in, in oil. And oh, so yeah. he cleaned the little guy up and he fed him a di- daily, daily diet of fish to kind of rebuild his strength. Because he's a fisherman. Named him Dindin. Yeah. And then after a week when the little guy was clean and everything, he said, hey, let's back into the ocean, go find your people. And uh, Dindin's like, screw you, I'm enjoying this. He was bonded already, so he stayed with the fisherman and his family. Let me say this. The fisherman months. lives on the beach. He lives on the beach it's in like, like yeah, a big cabana to... kind of thing. And so the penguin could run down and take a swim and then come back. So he stayed with the family for 11 months. And then when his new coat of feathers came in, he took off. Now, he was really sad. He's like, it's okay, you know, yeah. Dindin's where he needs to be. Well, the interesting thing was about six months later, he was back on the same beach. Came right up to Hoya's house and kind what's of up, like, what's up? I'm here. And he was just ecstatic. Well, here's the deal. He he does this. He does this every year. Oh, For wow. about five months, he goes off and he goes to wherever he is. And, and they talked to some of the marine biologists right. in the area because they were like looking at the phenomena. And they said, he has to be traveling like 5,000 miles round trip because he's going to where his people are on the Falklands, and then he's coming back. Oh, my gosh. So he, it's like Persephone in Hades. He's spending half the year. So he makes it. With Hawaii, and then half the by year himself. with his people. And he said, no one else is allowed to touch him. I love this penguin like he's my own, and I believe the penguin loves me. He lays on my lap and lets me give him showers, and oh. I can feed him fish. Oh. And he said that uh, he becomes more affectionate every time he sees me and happier. To oh, be that's just a sweet story. And there's story. this picture of him, and he's, he's giving the penguin a little kiss on his beak, and it's just, oh. Doesn't let anybody else touch him. I think that's funny. <laughs> Sorry, I'm all right, so um, uh, you want to be all astrological and stuff? Well, actually, I was thinking about this. This is perfect. February 14th and next Friday is like this big uh, thing. Like you, everyone has expectations. It's what? It. Oh, February 14th. You know, I Valentine's forgot. Day. 
Valentine's Day has a lot of expectations. Right. So right. Right. most of us on February 15th, not me because my husband's an angel, will feel like, oh, okay. So this is why you want to go to the Rocktacular. It's going to be at Club 90, 11 to 5, free admission. But here's five good reasons. Ready? Massage therapist to take care of you. Mm -hmm. Psychic readers. Definitely go to my friend Jennifer Martin. She will tell you all about the love life you could be having. And then there's all kinds of gorgeous gems and crystals. And What is this called again? Rocktacular. All right. So this is... Crystal and gem show. A crystal and gem show. I went to the last one. And I'm going to say... Did you what, like it? What was left out of the description is all the jewelry. I mean... They've taken beautiful stones and gems and they have made incredible jewelry. If you are in the market and want some bling and then maybe some bling with some healing properties, this is the place to go because they have wrapped stones that are, oh my gosh, they're so pretty. Beautiful stuff. And they so, are. yeah, that's going to be Saturday, the 15th, free admission, Club 90 and Sandy. I'm going to go. 11 to 5. I'm well, going to go. Oh, we're totally going. We'll see you there. Yeah. Okay, one last thing which I thought was cool is yeah. a full super moon this weekend. What do you mean super moon? Saturday around midnight is peak viewing time. Mm -hmm. This thing is freaking gigantic. It's the closest one to the earth that we've had Let for a while. your phone. Just and a second. it's massive. So uh -huh. they say that for moon viewing, this is going to be absolutely gorgeous. And when is it? It's uh, Saturday and they said about midnight is going to be your peak time. It'll be its brightest. Okay. So my recommendation mm -hmm. is to take the person you love, mm -hmm. uh, put them in the car, pack a little like a little tray of food and fine things mm -hmm. and then drive them up into the mountains mm -hmm. hang on and i want you to um get up there and and position yourselves so that mm -hmm. you can watch the moon come up I'll bundle that yeah and then realize that it's snowing outside according to the weather forecast really? and then you can make out the rest of the night you're so we welcome. won't even get to see You're it. welcome. Not everyone has to know it's going to snow. Just you do. <laughs> I wanted to see it. I'm going to take you to the mountains. <laughs> it's not reassuring when you say it like that, honey. You guys have a great day. Is there a <laughs> shovel and a bag of lime in the trunk? Not, not that picnic basket you promised not me. as far as you know. All right. Thanks for watching the Todd and Aaron Daily Stream. Hope I see you again. Maybe it won't snow, but that's what the forecast says. That is very disappointing. No. Not if you go for a picnic in your car in the mountains.